everybody, okay? I don't know why you motherfuckers always want me to react to other people reacting to something when you're coming here to watch me react to something. I get overwhelmed so easily. My anxiety creeps inside of me. I'm feeling it too, dude. Are you going to cry? Amazing. No. Are you going to cry? No. I might. It, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. So these are what? Okay, baby. This is... So this is like, uh, I, I suspect this is a couple that uh, is a couple account that now is uh, deciding to no longer be a couple. Uh, this only has 1.5 million or 1.1 million uh, views, but 1.5 million subscribers. Wait, they're siblings? Stop. Yeah. They're not siblings, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> they have kids with each other. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'll do it. I'll do it. I got this. I got it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So as many of you guys have noticed, we have gone some time without uploading. We kind of were uploading like a little here, like sprinkles of mm -hmm. uploads in the beginning of December. Um, and then we kind of stopped and haven't posted since. A lot of things have been going on in our life. I mean, we all have been sick forever, on and off, it feels like. And then personal things, family things, and obviously what we are telling you now. Yeah, that's the main thing, yeah. I feel like. That's... Yeah, it's hard to get on camera and act like nothing is going on in mm -hmm. the back. But at the same time, it's also hard to get on camera and say anything because what if we end up being fine and mm -hmm. then like we just shared all that and then it just seems rocky and trashy so it's Plus, just yeah. hard to know in that situation from a content point of view what to do and so we made the decision just to kind of not do anything actually i we did try i tried a lot to vlog but it was just we were going through a lot of emotions and a lot of yeah. sad at least i was going through a lot of sad emotions so uh a lot of you guys did notice he was vlogging and I wasn't. At that time, though, we were... I was really sick. Yeah. And I... Like, it wasn't really that bad between us at that point. When you For were me, just was, vlogging. I was going through it at that point. Mm -hmm. Like, I I saw it coming early. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, now I'm, I'm beginning to notice why this relationship fell apart. I mean, this is one minute and 41 seconds in. And, and homie's like, no, I was suffering. She's like, I didn't really figure, I didn't really see that. Maybe you weren't suffering. Okay. Because I just saw the switch. So for me. There's nothing more fucking cringe than hyper-focused news watchers get mad after four hours of relentless news coverage, most of which features around fucking foreign policy, when we switch over to something that's like less aggressive. I want to literally fucking purge you into Siberia, okay? The digital sp uh, Siberia space. You're a fucking nerd. You're fucking boring. Ha try to have some fun in your life, okay? We will get to MasterChef after this. You stupid fucks. Yeah, I was going through it, but um, I was still in the denial phase. Like, no, this can't be happening. Yeah. Can't be happening. But sadly, it is, and it happened, you guys. Um, I'm laughing because it's awkward, it's and I, we're here. <clears throat> yeah, and we're here. So, uh, like, I'm, I finally accepted it, which is why I'm actually even able to laugh about it. It feels yeah. nice. We um, actually tried to make this video before, but it was very rough. Yes. Um, it was too fresh. Yeah, way too fresh, and yeah. I still was not fully accepting it. And um, But I'm better now. So, yeah. Um, Kira broke up with me. <laughs> so Does crazy. it make you feel better to say it like that? Do you feel yeah. better because it's not you? Oh, uh, yeah, because I tried my, my ass off to make it work in the end. And Damn, uh, bro, this is like... Why did they fucking choose to shoot this? This seems... This seems to be rather awkward as far as... Uh, I don't know. As far as a, uh, a, a breakup video goes, I don't even know if breakup videos could ever be fucking not awkward. How, what do you do? Like, you're a content creator and your entire relationship is your fucking content? It's like a, there's a financial incentive to keep you going. Like, what are you supposed to do in this situation? You're fucked, right? You just gotta keep it going? 
there's the kids too. Uh, but that's the thing, guys. Yeah. If you're listening, in the end, doesn't always work anymore. Yeah. But I don't want to also make it seem like the thing is okay. Not that we need to get into this, but I am an empath. Oscar and I have been together for a very long time. We started our relationship as best friends, and I'm only giving you my point of view, not no, yours. No. But um, you know, we've been best friends for so so long, and I would say we genuinely have stayed best friends the whole time. Um, and yeah. it got to a point in my mind where I felt like, are we just best friends? Like, I feel like that's what we are. Is there more to it than that? You know? And there, there has been more to it than that. But at this point in our lives, I don't feel oh, like there no. is more to it than that. And nothing happened that's like, oh no. They have fucking four kids together and she... First of all, the friend zone is not a real thing, okay? There's no concept of like, oh, you're getting, you're going to be friends with a woman and then like they're going to give you pussy and like you're going to get out of it. It's not like that. But you can fall out of love with someone, obviously, because like relationships don't work out. I'm just using friend zone in this situation because of the, the humor of it, okay? Not that I believe that there's a real friend zone. That's Crazy funny. and dramatic. Nobody like cheated. Nobody like... Feelings were hurt though. You did some things that hurt my feelings, but I yeah. found out later on, like a month later, that it's because you were holding these feelings inside and kind yeah. of resenting me. But them. can you please clarify that I wasn't cheating? Yeah, you, you weren't cheating. To, like, you people weren't cheating. will dig into You that. did a lot of things that bothered me. I wouldn't consider them full blown cheating, but it was definitely lines Oscar, that we shouldn't have crossed. That. All right, all right, fine, fine. What about that situation bothers you? It's not that situation. I just feel like once we sit here and start naming like specific things, like do we want to talk about? Bro, this is awesome. I'm so glad. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it. I'm glad that people are fucking psychotic clout sharks, dude. I mean, this is like their fucking relationship is falling apart for your enjoyment for like $12 CPMs. You know what I mean? Like they chose the fuck it. It's not like producers were like guiding them to upload this. They chose this. Okay. They, they chose to do this. I don't understand how this happens, but we are able to peek into this window. And, and see what the fuck's going on here. When I had mental health issues, you were not there for me. Like, we don't need to, like, dig into all of that. Uh, yeah, you're right. And I do think something like this, it's sad that it took this, but I wish I was better for you back then. Not be Just I didn't know better. I didn't, like, I didn't understand these things. Like, I feel like I'm understanding uh -oh. them now. Going through my own, like, sadness and hard points, you know? Yeah. The thing um, is... It takes two in a relationship mm -hmm. and Oscar is not like, yes, there are things he has done to hurt me or made us stripped apart or like all the things, right? Yeah. But so have I. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest thing is I do know this is the, this is where for me, I knew that. Oh my God, bro. He's literally, oh no. First of all, what's going on, bro? 2022, not been a great year for the fellas. Like, I feel like leading up to 2022, you know, patriarchy is alive and well. I mean, it still is alive and well. Don't get me wrong. But, like, what is happening with the fucking fellas this year? We, we're, we're talking about, like, we got West Dome Caleb. Like, it feels like every day there's a new situation where, where one of the fellas is getting involved in some shit that... Are we, are we falling off? What, what's happening? What's going on? Is it white girl summer? It wasn't something I wanted to like hold on to anymore. I knew when I in my head was thinking of Oscar being happy with somebody else and that made me happier. That's when I knew I didn't want to be with you anymore because to be fair. Yeah. That someone, someone in the chat already pointed this out, but like, yeah, the Pete Davidson has been like taking dubs for the rest of the fellas you know what i mean like pete davidson is a is a dub suck like pete davidson and mgk basically fucking took all the dubs for the rest of like the dudes the boys you know what i mean where the rest of men uh are, are not having such a good go at it this year because pete took it for everybody else 
if you were in love with somebody like that. Because I do love him, and I will love him for the rest of my life. I mean, not just because he's the father of my kids. Like, I genuinely get along with Oscar. We have so much fun that? together. Like, all of that. But mm-hmm. when I think of you with somebody else, and that's what I want for you, I don't think you're in love with that person. Really? Don't you think? I don't know. I've never heard that side, so it's a lot to take in right now. But uh, I, I don't know. I guess so. Like, in a way, that's like... Even like, more I don't, loving I in don't, a weird way. Like, I can't meet your adrenaline standards. I don't like the things that you like. I don't want the same things that you want. I'm not interested in the same things that you are. And I want you to have that. With why somebody. is she emasculating him? So why am I, like... She ended the relationship and now on. she's just, like, with, fucking with dunking on other him. reasons. Like, guys, there's a lot... That's, like, yeah. the main point of this. Is there's so many things... The combined things and it really was like a slow point getting up to here it wasn't that's what i mean by it wasn't like one thing so what triggered you to be so mean though this last month not that she was horrible she was actually she was actually very nice to me during the like actual breakup process but there was a phase where like i was trying my once i had decided that i didn't want to be with oscar anymore i couldn't tell him that because we were Going on the, like these trips we had we went to Las Vegas and we mm-hmm. were going on a family vacation with both of our families to Disneyland with our kids for Christmas. So I can't I couldn't tell him because I didn't know how he was gonna take it and I didn't want that what a to nightmare, like, mess dude. up what we were doing for our kids. And I felt the distance. I knew something was wrong. I was so trying I to got angry instead. Yeah. And I which I shouldn't have done now looking back. I mean it's hard to do these things. Like yeah. I don't have a perfect way. So I instead... You were doing a lot to push me away. Not yeah, like in a... I, that, yeah. Subconsciously, I really was like self-sabotaging almost or like trying... I don't know. Trying to get you to break up with me so it wasn't me. I don't even know. But like I was being mean because I was just angry. I also felt like I was lying to you and that's not my personality. Like as soon as I decide something, you know that. Like yeah, I want to say it. I want to tell you. I can't just like keep it in my head. Yeah. And so the second that I was able to tell you... Which I actually wanted to even wait longer until we were back home from our vacation. But I told him on vacation at Disneyland after Christmas. After Christmas. Dude, that I'm laughing now, but like I said, I saw it coming and uh, I feel like But didn't I wasn't I so much better once I told you? Yeah, we finally were like friends again. It was kinda nice. And Um, honestly, ever since we have been. I mean, there's been like ebbs and flows of emotions. Yeah. No, yeah, for sure. I think it's crazy though. I mean, it did it for me. It felt like forever because this has happening, been happening since like late November. So for me, it's felt like forever. But in the grand scheme of things, this all happened fast, and it's kind of crazy. Like, I think a little bit. This is where we differ. In my mind, mm-hmm. things have been happening for like a year. Really? Not like not a year ago was I like I want to leave, mm-hmm. but a year ago Uh-oh. was when I was like oh, we I just hate had this. Over a year I'm over ago. this. I know. And you were done? No, that's what I just Uh-oh. said. Oh, yeah, but you were like, I hate this, I'm over this? No, you're not listening. That is when I was like, oh, I hate this. Oh, mm-hmm. I hate that you get so angry all the time. I hate that you throw things. I hate that mm-hmm. this. I hate this. Mm-hmm. And, like, slowly over time, or, like, we just aren't having fun together anymore. We just, like, little things slowly. Hey, but I, I hadn't gotten mad at all up until, like, late November when things were going downhill. No. Uh- Maybe this context would help explain your frustration. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. You get mad just because it's not to right. your anger extreme. No, of yeah, we fight. We all, we, everyone fights and argues. Yes, yes, I did. I did explode a few times, guys, and I've worked on it. I've actually gotten way better at it over the years. Um, you, he has gotten better at it, but that, this is like not the point. This yeah, is the, the thing about this video that I hate is it's like you did, I, I did. Like, yeah, we yeah. both did. That's why we're sitting here. Yeah. I like, it's so hard because making this video, I want to sit here and just tell you guys, this is what's happening. I'm sad. I know you guys are going to be sad. I'm sorry that we haven't made a video about it for a minute. Um, but also, all that's in the back of my mind is how will people take what I just said? How is How are people yeah. going to take what you just said? Yeah. And that's so frustrating because I feel and like I don't even like, want to make this video. Yeah, and it makes it sound like we're fighting all the time, which we honestly We don't. Know. Yeah, no. It's in that, again, like all the things I just said over the last year, that was not a daily thing. That no. was like... I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that bad. I mean... It seems like she is, like, I mean, she's manipulative. But do I- and she's just, like, walking all over him a little bit. Seems like he's going to be healthier now. You know what I mean? 
Seems like he's going to be healthier now. So we'll see. Let's see where it goes. A once a month type of thing or yeah. like two times a month and not even fighting, but just the like little things, you know? How is she manipulative? I mean, there are things that he keeps trying to say about the relationship. And she's like, no. And stop him to describe his point of view or to describe his point of view from her POV. What do you mean? How do you not recognize? I feel like there's people in the chat that don't recognize like gaslighting if a woman is doing it. You know what I mean? Like you're very obviously like aware of it when a man does it. But like when a woman does it, it's like, no, that's a girl bossing. Like, I don't understand. He's quite literally fucking controlling the narrative. You know, uh, in this combo, nine minutes, it's only her talking. Gaslighting is not real. You're fucking crazy. Wait, what? Okay, it, dumbass. It, not gaslighting, lying. Okay, here, I'll use that term instead. Like, she is contorting facts to uh, portray a certain narrative. Is that better? Oh, oh, that was gaslighting at its finest. It was, he was just joking. Okay. No, yeah. or like, oh, you want to do this and I'm not into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all, all, yeah. All of everything you just said was like, I don't know. It happened sporadically yeah. throughout. The but year. I do think that late November things started getting really bad. We were fighting yeah. and we were not able to even be in the same room at one point, you know? Um, so yeah, yeah towards the bad. end, it did get really bad, but I feel like long story short, I do feel like we're in a really good place right now. We're still trying. I mean, this is like. Correction. They are not in a really good place right now. At least with respect to what we have seen so far from my man. With the very interesting hairline. That is the most unique hair part I've ever seen. Kind of like how the ad break parts. The uh, hours. With a 60 second break in between. But then sometimes you forget to run it at the top of the hour. So instead you run it 20 minutes into the top of the hour. But then you tell everyone that, hey, listen, it long, as long as you subscribe, you can avoid the top of the hour ad break, you know, and uh, enjoy an ad free broadcasting experience. Um, and you can also do that by uh, getting gifted a sub, for example. So there are, you know, these are all the different ways of doing it. And I'm gaslighting you. Here's the one minute ad break now, though. We're figuring it out. Yeah. We have a whole life together. We've been together for seven years. It takes a minute to like know what we're going to do and stuff. I hope I just, yeah, I think as long as we keep doing what we're doing, she's been extremely respectful of the breakup process. Nobody else, like I said, like she said, no one else has been involved. There was no cheating, no nothing. Mm -hmm. Currently, no one's dating nothing. Like we're all just, we're both, I mean, just trying to like figure it out yeah. and be as respectful as possible. And I think that's going to help keep our friendship. I think we're, the main goal that... I think we both have this as a goal because mm -hmm. we keep talking about it every day is like I Oscar was and is has always been my best friend and I hope it can remain that way mm -hmm. even if right now I'm just gonna be a little rocky but mm -hmm. I hope that for us my stomach is growling <laughs> I hope that for us but I also hope that for our kids mm -hmm. but outs I feel like a lot of times even you guys are like well the kids the kids and it's like outside of the kids because that stuff I'm not worried about with you and I I know we will be the best parents that we can be through this. But <clears throat> between us, I also would like. I feel like if you're fucking YouTube family, like there's 0% chance you're being a good parent by design. <laughs> Marat says from afar, I just want to point out that it applies to brothers and Twitch. Implying that my 28 year old brother who literally fucking builds spaceships for a multinational corporation is being manipulated for content like a you know two-year-old baby that's what he just said he he simply he stated that he has the autonomy and and self-awareness and and you know independence of a two-year-old who can't even make themselves a sandwich it's a cell phone dude now he's saying I'm gaslighting him and that it's not a big deal. <laughs> I love that your socks match your shirt, by the way. That's pretty funny. Murat's got green socks and a green t-shirt on. All right, let's continue. To keep things as like positive. Yeah. 
That is, yeah, positive as well. Why did you look like that? No, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about, like, the future, too. I'm thinking about when he's going to snap, because it looks like he's just... He is actually thinking, right? Like, he's, like, he's got the 500-yard stare. It seems like there's going to be a turning point like here, because he's, like... Go and just, like... We're still going to be, like, and vlogging and uploading on this channel mm -hmm. together. We still are going to live in the same house. We still are sharing finan finances. Yeah. Like We're going to do taxes together. We're, we're going to keep our money together until we taxes and figure out, like, all right, what direction do we go from there? Yeah. We're just, like, not rushing anything. Yeah. Taking We're trying not to. Yeah. Things might even seem kind of normal for a while. I don't know. Maybe we'll be vlogging separately. I have Oscar no idea, is sleeping but... in another room. Yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. But I just got back from vacation, so it's actually not that bad. It just feels like... Oh. My. God. Dude, this is so humiliating, dude. He's gonna... There's... This is a JCS precursor, dude. We're quite literally fucking... We're watching like... We're watching like a... Like a... Like a prelude to JCS. Things might even seem kind of normal for a while. I don't know. Maybe we'll be vlogging separately. I have Oscar no is sleeping in another room. Yeah, that's interesting. But... <laughs> Bro, okay, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I feel bad for this guy. I don't think he wants this at all. Uh, I don't think he wants that. Uh, I'm gonna. That's that's doesn't sound like he's into that. Maybe I'm crazy, but it straight up doesn't sound like he's into that at all. I just got back from vacation, so it's actually not that bad. It just feels like, all right, I'm, yeah. I'm continuing the vacation, but yeah, yeah was, that's what's last been going night was on. Last first night in the new room. Yeah, <laughs> downstairs. Was it weird? No, not at all. Like I said, I just, I've been waking up in new places the last, like, what has it been, three, four weeks? Yeah. Just trying in to strap myself. New places? Yeah. I thought we weren't dating. <laughs> no, I mean, like, at my mom's house or in oh, Disneyland. Can I tell about the funniest conversation I had with you? What? Yeah. In Florida, when we were on the phone. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess, whatever. Oscar was, uh, he went to a strip club, can I say that? Yeah, I don't care. The night before, and then we were talking about it, and I was like, well, did you, like, get a lap dance or anything? And he's like, no, no, I felt too awkward. So anyways, long story short. I didn't go alone, by the way. We were, I went with a group of friends. <laughs> anyways, mm -hmm. um, so Oscar went to the strip club, didn't get a lap dance, stupid. Where? Didn't Venmo me just as much money as the stripper, stupid. <laughs> I didn't, I barely threw anything, but sure. <laughs> Tell them you barely didn't and how much it was. Okay. You sound like an idiot. Tell I them. Did, uh, I was trying to underplay. Yeah. What was, it was, yeah. It was only 200 bucks. Only? Oh, what kind of money are you making? Not any because you're... Wait, what the fuck does she mean? Like, 200 bucks? Like, they have a 1.5 million fucking YouTube channel. They... My man can fucking spend 200 bucks at one night at the strip club. She's, she's downplaying how much money they have. Not uploading, so Guys, 200 bucks is a hey, lot. Hey, I just found out I was single, okay? I wanted to feel like a ball. He didn't like even get a lap dance, so okay, anyways, <laughs> revert. Go back. So then he was talking about, like, sleeping with girls and how is he going to do that. And I was trying to give him advice on, like, how to sleep with girls or, like, know when a girl wants to and all those <laughs> oh things. Oh, my God, that is And it was the coming. funniest, weirdest conversation. Not before. that I was even trying. Oh my god, bro, what is happening? Bro, this is like, there is no way that you can have this convo in public in, in like a positive way. If he was like, maybe he had already moved on, because she has. If maybe he had already fucking moved on and he was like already having like orgies or something, like he'd be like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Your advice sucked, like whatever. I'm having like fucking four ways now, six ways. Who cares, dude? I'm fucking, I'm getting so much, I'm getting laid all the time, dude. He, he's just like, look at that. Look at that neck hole, bro. He's white knuckling his own neck. He's like, I'm trying to do the TikTok blackout challenge. Trying to get any of it. She was telling me like, hey, you, I think you should sleep with someone. I'm like, what? First of all, I wouldn't well, even know how to I go just about think that. that. Like, I don't know, guys, I feel like they just like need that. Like, oh Oscar and I haven't slept God. together in some time. <laughs> it's been like a month, yeah. Like, Two months. Know? Almost, yeah. It's it's gonna be there. <laughs> what it was the? like the beginning Weird. of November, <laughs> dude. That's too TMI. Anywho, she was telling me you need to get with somebody. I was like, I wouldn't even know how to go about that, and she just started giving me tips. Anyways, oh my god. So that's where my ring went. 
Yep. And I get to keep the ring because a ring is a gift, and if he thinks he could take it away from me, he would be I don't without. Mind. A I actually hope you keep it until for the kids. yeah, one of the kids. I think you give it to your son. I right? no, I don't want any of the kids to wear the ring or give the ring because I think that's bad luck. Because we didn't. Well, we work. never got married. Hey, it still is bad luck. So <laughs> no, they wait. They never got married. They never got married. They were dating for seven years, dude. Pain. Pain. Oh no, he asked. He asked to be with her. He asked to fucking marry her and and she was like, no. But she took the ring. That's a red flag to begin with, dude. How does he not realize that? Okay, let's continue. Sorry. I'm not letting them give it to anybody, but I would like them to just at least like see it or have it or decide what they want to do with it. Like a family heirloom. To break it into four pieces. Mm. What happens if I have a fifth kid though? Well, that hey, that's your new person's problem, not mine, dude. <laughs> For real. Bro, she's holding his family heirloom captive despite not even marrying him. That's psychotic, dude. That is disrespectful. That's psychotic. My man needs to fucking immediately, immediately fucking, one, get some bitches, okay? Two, like, self-improvement. Like, three, build his fucking self-confidence through self-improvement. And then lastly, like, recognize that he deserves more, dude. What the fuck? What they want to do with it. Like a family heirloom. To break it into four pieces. Mm. What happens if I have a fifth kid, though? Well, that, hey, that's your new person's problem, not mine. Dude. Why would she say that? What the fuck? Bro, what is happening? This is just straight evil, dude. This is straight... Yo, this is literally... Yo, I... This makes me want to go back in time and stop Dr. Jakob from inventing white people, okay? That's what it makes me want to do. I just want to roll back time so I can stop Dr. Yakub from creating the albinoids. Okay? This is the worst thing I've ever... Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. This is fucking really bad. This is the worst, dude. Holy shit. Dude, <laughs> for real. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we're at. Um, vlogs are probably gonna be, like I said, like probably the same for a little bit. We don't know. We're, we're, we don't know. We don't know, doing. guys. We're just like here, just living our best life. Dude, we're just two friends living in the same house with four kids. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, okay, okay. This dude, if these, if he doesn't fucking figure some shit out, this is gonna be like really, really bad. They literally say in the beginning that she did things but didn't exactly cheat. My man. I mean, they need like, they do need the Quran. This would never have happened if he just said the Shahada. You know what I mean? Like, if he just said the Shahada and then, you know, made an honest woman out of her. But I feel like right now he is like, he's about to fucking snap, dude. This to me is a clear indication of someone completely moved on and gaslighting the other partner. Yeah, 100%, dude. What, what the fuck? Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> Everything. Well, yeah, I guess a lot of things, but. Um, I'm sure you guys have a million questions, so leave your quick questions. Whoa. Leave your questions, questions. down below. We'll probably do a Q&A because why not? Why not? Yeah, it is what it is. So we'll everybody in our lives thinks we're nuts. We are nuts, dude. We've been nuts since day one. Day one. Nuts the minute I nuts. met you, I should have been like, "Oh my god, say no to this girl. This is she's way too much right now." <laughs> but yeah, that's what's going on. Right person, wrong time. Maybe. What's the wrong time forever? Don't get your hopes up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the fact that. Hey, Confidence, I love it. The <laughs> fact that you think after everything you put me through, I would be like, <laughs> Me, my youth. Oh my god. <laughs>
She said, don't get your hopes up. Bro, why is she like trying to be the worst person on? I mean, big ups to this lady, okay? I I'll be honest. Here's why. Here's why, okay? It's very cool because it takes this very special kind of narcissist to not recognize how fucking horrible they're coming across when they put a video like this out. Like, can I ask all my single ladies in the chat? Like, do you guys, are, are any of the girl bosses an advocate for this woman right here? Uh, honestly, like, like maybe, maybe you guys are and I'm being like over the top. Like, I'm, maybe I'm doing fucking, you know, male MRA shit. She just seems kind of like a fucking psycho and doesn't even realize that. doesn't realize that like she's coming across like a horrible person she made him get a vasectomy before they broke up shut the fuck up oh jesus Christ. oh my god the fact a hey, luckily those are usually reversible though right i love it the fact that you think after everything you put me through i would be like <laughs> me put you through i've done nothing like besides some attitude here and there and comforting another guy because he was sad. Oh, there it is. I didn't even do anything. This, oh, this is comforting and, and, to Oscar. Oh, shut the... Oh, oh, his name is Oscar! Oh! It took 15 minutes and 20 seconds to get to the fucking main point, dude. What the fuck? Okay, 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 listen. All the fucking red pill, uh, you know, all the, all the little kitties that uh, don't believe in the red pill stuff, or like you used to believe in it and then you came here and you got chat vice or you started learning like you started unlearning that bad behavior this is just a singular person okay some people are evil and manipulative that does not mean that all women are like this okay this is just this one person she's just this is psycho okay she's just crazy i don't want you guys to fucking literally blow a gasket and just like go back to your old ways of fucking listening to the fresh and fit podcast or something I didn't even do anything. This, I know. This is comforting and, and, to Oscar. Oh, shut the... But guys, that was early oh, on. Oh, that was him. That was him. <gasps> the Oscar is him. Oh, my God. She just... She was... Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, no. Oscar is him. Oh, wait, yeah. hold on. Like, besides some attitude here and there. And comforting another guy because he was sad. Oh, there it is. I didn't <laughs> even do anything. This, I know. This and, is comforting and, and, to Oscar. Oh, shut the... But guys, that was early on. Uh, don't even get me started. But one anyway, time, anyway. Oscar was talking to Hannah, and they were helping each other through emotional things. So is that weird? Um, considering where things were going, but and I never was really. Oh no, up, it's weird. I never I'm feeling up weird. On... Oh my god, this is literally a. Uh, I don't know if this is a bad term or not. So don't fucking cancel me. This is. This is a Mexican standoff, dude. All of a sudden, this turned into like, this turned into desperados, dude. Everyone is dying at the fucking bar. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's got a gun on one another. It's like. I don't even know. I don't even know why I thought Mexican stand would be a bad. About it also. Never rubbed up on him. I never ever. rubbed up on him. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna now, though. How many Dude, of you guys do you think I can rub up on them? As many as you want. You're rubbed up uh, on uh, anybody, okay. Anyway, that's I'm gonna now, though. How many of you guys do you think I can rub up on them? As many Also, I mean, I hate to fucking be ruthless here, other than, like, her being psychotic. This is like a good looking dude. Like he's got a lot going on. He seems like he seems to be a lot better looking than she is. Not that that's all that matters in a relationship, obviously. But also on top of that, like she doesn't even have like a good. She doesn't even have like anything else going on. It's not like she's fucking nice. So what the fuck was he doing? Any as you want. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Don't zoom in on me, idiot.